These aerial pictures, released by the Turkish army, purport to show Syrian government targets being pummeled in Idlib province. President Erdogan's office says that all known Assad targets have come and will continue to come under fire from the air and from the ground. The retaliatory strikes come after the deadliest day for Turkish soldiers in this northwestern pocket of Syria since Ankara first put boots on the ground four years ago. Erdogan chaired an emergency security meeting late on Thursday to discuss the situation, just hours after Turkey and Russia wrapped up two days of talks. We've been talking with our Russian counterparts about the activities of our air force in Idlib, including armed drones and unarmed drones, because it's vital for the ceasefire to continue and to monitor what's going on. As tensions mount between Turkey and Syria and its Russian allies, far away in New York, the Western members of the UN Security Council have called for an immediate halt to hostilities, with France and UNICEF united in their condemnation of attacks on hospitals, schools and refugee camps. Tens of thousands are now living in makeshift tents in public buildings, in open air, huddled under trees exposed to rain and snow and sub-zero cold of the harsh Syrian winter. With more of its soldiers killed on Syrian soil and with a growing number of refugees knocking at its door, one senior Turkish official says Ankara will no longer stop Syrian refugees from reaching Europe, with Coast Guard and border security officials ordered to stand down at land and sea crossings.